I'm done. But this thing blows snow kind of everywhere. So you gotta be careful of that. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Country Hobbyist. And today is dig out from this Indiana snowstorm we had. First time owner of a snowblower, I bought a uh, 26 inch Craftsman. I had a little bit bigger of an engine on it. Um, not this, this isn't really about the snowblower, it's more about my experience with the snowblower and uh, just some footage of it. I'll give you my thoughts as a first time owner of a snowblower, not the first time user of a snowblower. falls and we all pray hoping for the light of day down to the river I have held the devil's hand felt the weight of my own sin burdened by the heart of man down to the river down to the river To the river, every man has felt the shame. All our blood it runs the same. Father, hear us as we pray. to the river It's finally Friday I'm out of control Forget the snow blowing blues and let the good times roll Okay, couple of points I'm done But this thing blows snow kind of everywhere So you gotta be careful of that Things that I would point out going into this video about owning a snowblower. One, get a good pair of gloves. When it's cold, holding on to them handles gets a little cold. Or get the heated uh, heated grips. Now, once uh, I got warm and hot from uh, working, boy, I didn't need multiple layers of gloves. It probably took me a little bit longer to get this all done than with a tractor, but I think it's a little bit cleaner right out of the gate. I could get into these fine areas a little bit more, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. 
this is no old man's game. I don't want to diminish anyone in their in their older ages at all, but this thing takes some uh, manhandling. Now, uh, through the video, you'll see like I probably am like shaking the the snowblower a little bit. It's because I don't have my my runner guard set uh, very good, and the cutter bar is hitting the ground. I need to raise those down uh, so that the cutting bar is up off the ground just a little bit, so I avoid picking up rocks and any uneven surface in the blacktop. Me personally, I really enjoy having this snowblower. It's a lot smaller than having a tractor. It's a lot easier to get going. I have a good driveway for it. Concrete or asphalt is the way to go, uh, and I can move snow pretty easily. It never bogged down because of too much snow, even when I was in second and third gear. All I'll say this, if you're going to buy one, spend the money, buy one that has the ability to handle the size, we're looking for a driveway, buy the one, buy the one that handles the si the driveway you have in a, in a comfortable amount of time, it took me a little over an hour to do my drive, and uh, probably by late this afternoon, it'll be completely cleared off uh, from just the sun hitting the blacktop. Another thing too, on these, uh, you could probably buy them off season. I always said, I'll wait till March or April when somebody's trying to get rid of their snowblower and I'll pick it up then. Well, it's been 10 years I've been saying that and I haven't done it. I just had to pull the trigger and I knew for me buying a new one right now was probably the, the best chance of me ever owning one just because I uh, I wouldn't buy it in the summer because like I don't need this till the winter. I just know how I am. Even though I probably would have saved myself like 500 bucks buying it mid-summer. The other thing that I'd probably just caution is you know, this is not a one year kind of investment. It wouldn't have made sense for me to spend a thousand bucks to just do this one year. This is gonna to have to last me several years. This might be the only big snowfall we have this year. I hope not. I hope I get to get a few more uses out of it. But if so, uh, I really need to expend this out over about 10 years. And that means I need to take care of it, cleaning it up, pressure washing it in the summer. Uh, to get any salt and stuff off of it and keeping it well maintained. That's just my thoughts on having a snowblower. I, like, I'm, I'm pretty happy I bought that. No regrets at all. Not even one letter. So that's my Craftsman snowblower story for the day. First time caller, long time listener. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, let me know any questions and stuff you have in, in the comments. If you want to ask me about fixing something, I don't know anything about these. I know I'm going to keep the oil checked. I'm going to keep the oil changed. I'm going to follow the maintenance plan in the operations book just to make sure that I can keep this thing going a long time, including probably the most important thing is uh, making sure there's no freaking gas in these stupid things at the end of the season uh, that you run all the fuel out of them because every snowblower problem that I see has, it won't start. It's because of the ethanol and it's because of that crap's coming up your carburetor. So buy ethanol free gas. Don't buy the $20 stuff from Lowe's. Go find a gas station in your area that sells ethanol free. They're out there. They exist and uh, make sure that it's empty when you put it away for summer. I'll see you guys all soon. Thanks for watching.